Okay, today let's talk about identifying internal clutter. This is about self-talk and its effects. So week four is all about clearing the clutter in our lives and that starts inside. Identifying the places in your mind and your heart that are stuck and stagnant, where you're holding on to old hurts and lugging around psychic baggage. Uh, this is the first step toward releasing it and restoring your energy. Mapping the internal landscape. So everything we experience in life is filtered through the lens of our beliefs. If we believe that someone doesn't like us, we'll see everything that they do as evidence of their dislike for us. If I believe I'm good at something, when I make a mistake while I'm doing that thing, I'll translate that mistake as sort of an outlier, not really as the sum total of my skill, because my belief is actually that I'm good at that thing. So these beliefs that we have make up our operating system when we put them all together, and that is like the map of our world. We can tune into our internal dialogue or our self-talk, and this is one really simple way of accessing this programming that we have, this operating system that we're, that we're running on, so that we can discover what it's telling us and then make a conscious decision about whether we live from it or we change it. So if we find that our map is inaccurate, that it gives us faulty directions, then we can replace those directions with ones that are more aligned with our values and our goals. I've heard a lot of ways of talking about this concept over the years and a few of my favorites that I want to share with you. The first one is called AM FM radio. And I love this concept because it accounts for both positive and negative self-talk because we have both. The AM station that we can run in our head is the against me station. It's the station that plays in our mind when we're down on ourselves, when we're critical and we're having self-defeating thoughts. These are beliefs that do not empower us. And I think we're all really familiar with this AM station that can play in our head. The FM station is for me. It's the station that plays programming that is in support of us, that empowers us to respond to our life in a conscious and loving way. When we're playing a FM programming, for me programming, we're more in the flow of life. We're finding magic and synchronicity. We're feeling aligned with purpose and meaning. These messages tell us that we're okay, that the universe we live in is a friendly one, and that life is a grand experiment. So you can start to tune into your AM, FM, which, which thoughts are against me, which thoughts are for me. Another uh, concept that I like for this idea is um, two words that I think kind of mean the same thing, but uh, you can just see what resonates with you. One is the shoulder bitch, <laughs> like the bitch that sits on your shoulder that tells you bad things. Um, the other, and this is the one that I use a lot because this resonates with me, is asshole brain. So more often than not, the self-talk that we have, um, that we want to hone in on and that we want to weed out is negative self-talk. I like both of these descriptions, shoulder bitch and asshole brain, as a way to make that separate from ourself, to actually separate ourselves from it and then become aware of the lies that it's telling us and not to demonize it, but actually the opposite. Just like we would hold compassion for a small child who's hurt or who's scared um, and we wouldn't then become in pain or in fear ourselves just by being with that small child, we can hold space and hold compassion for this hurt and fearful part, part of ourselves while maintaining a grounded stance, while still staying um, you know, in this more grounded part of ourselves. So I find that naming it like asshole brain um, can help me then to kind of disconnect from it a little bit and see it as something separate from me, not just um, the truth of who I am. And to do this, I want you to um, play along with an activity this week. So this is on your worksheets for week four. 
um, this week and possibly beyond if you want, carry an index card with you, a little blank piece of paper. As you notice any uncomfortable feelings arise, just as soon as you become aware of it, sometimes that is in, you know, takes a second, other times it takes days to become aware of, of an uncomfortable feeling that has come over you. But as soon as you notice it, pull out your card. And answer, um, I've given you some questions here. Answer whichever of these questions gives you a clear answer. So it could be one of them that really resonates with you that you want to write down the answer to, or it could be all of them. So the examples uh, that you have on your worksheet are, what emotion am I feeling in this moment and why? And for example, it might be, I'm feeling angry because Joe should have been home hours ago. Another question, what thoughts are streaming in my head? Sometimes you might notice that your mind is kind of in a loop where it's just replaying thoughts, um, that it's like, uh, it's really like programming that's speaking to us. So you might tune into that and find that there's a loop playing in your head and it might say something like, Joe doesn't care about my feelings. What am I believing about this situation? So you may be able to tap directly into your beliefs um, when you hear a thought in your mind like, who am I kidding? This is never going to work out. Another question that can help us get to the root of this is what should or shouldn't be happening in this situation or what am I afraid of happening? So for example, Joe should care more about my feelings or a fear might be, I'm just gonna get my heart broken. So you write down what you notice on your, on your card and you just continue to write down your observations whenever you notice them. So the more you notice, the more you'll notice it becomes a way of, you become more in touch and more aware of what's happening internally. And that's helpful just in terms of paying attention. There's no need to analyze any of this or fix it or resolve it right now. Just keep your lab coat on, you know, as if you were a detective or a scientist and keep collecting your data. This is data for you. Um, and then go ahead and share some of your answers from this, you know, these questions that you ask yourself as you write down your answers on your index card, go ahead and share some of them in the group and tag your buddy so that we can all um, just start to become aware of uncovering this internal chatter and then we'll figure out something to do with it.